Good evening. So I get asked all the time about experience modifications and how they apply to workers' comp. It's really pretty simple. Every single work classification is assigned a rate. So let's say your rate for whatever your workers uh, do, uh, let's assume it's a class code for, I don't know, electrical contractors 5190 or 5183, and let's assume that that rate is $5 per $100 of payroll. So when you extrapolate what that means, if you have $100,000 worth of that trade payroll, your standard premium would be approximately $5,000. That's your, that's your manual rate premium. Experience modifications for those math lovers are just a function that's applied towards your manual rate and it's derived based on your experience. So if you have a good experience, meaning no, low losses, then it's less than one. For example, you have an experience modification of 0.9, which is essentially a 10% discount. That $5,000 premium would actually only cost you $4,500. Whereas if you had a poor experience, which means you had losses, your experience modification may be 1.1, and that would be you know a 10% increase. That's all it is with experience modifications. They can go down, they can go up. It's based off of, it's an actuarial equation which modifies your uh, workers' comp premium. Give us a call if you have any further questions.